It's alright, it's alright It's alright
Where they say that books are our true best friend, it is absolutely true. Not only are books our companions, but they are also our self-care Books never expect anything in return from us. Whenever we are tired or bored or stressed, picking up a book and reading helps us to go in another world, a world free of worries and every great tension. At the same time, books enrich us and provide us with unimaginable knowledge. If we come in the habits of reading books from an early age, we will be able to do anything in life. For students and people who struggle with problems in language or want to improve their vocabulary, nothing but a book can help you overcome it. A book may be in any language, it is rich in good vocabulary and therefore help in improving self-confidence and self-love. Even as young children turn into adults, the importance of reading does not cease. It helps you become a better speaker and also help in enhancing your writing skills. Reading helps us in giving our brain muscles a good exercise and prevent the possibility of lethargy. If one is in the habit of reading books, he or she will always be entertained and will never really need anyone to come to their rescue when they feel bored. Thank you. The topic of my education is the importance of farmers in our country. Farmers are the backbone of our society. They are the ones who provide us all the food that we eat. As a result, the entire population of the country depends upon farmers. We eat the smallest or the largest country because of them only we are able to live on the planet. Thus farmers are the most important people on the world. The, 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 cultivation, the cultivation of wheat and rice is most important. Farmers who produce books are of prime importance. Seconds are the ones who cultivate fruits. These farmers have to prepare the soil from different types of fruits. Because these fruits grow according to the season, therefore the farmers need to have a great knowledge. The condition of farmers in India is critical. We are hearing total news every of farmers every week or month. Farmers are not having money to send their kids to school. Sometimes the situation gets so worse that they are not even having proper food. As a result, then they attempt suicide in order to save farmers. Our government is trying to provide them with various privileges. Recently, the government has exempted, which exempted from all the rooms. At last, farming is a profession which requires hard and labor, hard labor and effort. More of the thing that growing population of our, of our country. We should take initiative to help farmers of our country. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Arjan Devuna. I belong to Spring House. The topic of my education is impact of COVID-19 on school education in India. No one would have guessed 
that a virus like COVID-19 will come and without differentiating, it will alter the lifestyle of people. Due to COVID-19, many changes come to our world and it took some time for everyone to adopt the new normal. The COVID-19 impact was everywhere, which resulted in the closure of schools and other educational institutions. Teachers who are all experts in blackboard, job, books, and classroom teaching are really new to this digital teaching, but they are adopting the new method and handling it like a go to aid the student in the current position. But on the negative side, many teachers are looking for an alternative job to support their families. Educated parents are supporting their children throughout the pandemic, but we require to understand that there are some limited parents and their feelings of helplessness to help their children in their education. There are students in India who came to school just because they can get food. The Grand Media Business Scheme has helped many children who couldn't bring their food from the home to get their nutrition. We are not ready for this, but it can. So we have to go through this together. But we have to update the infrastructure and searching more ways to understand the situation and provide education to every child to amid the pandemic. If we say something precisely like this in future, to aid the forthcoming generation. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Amanda Bruma. I belong to Spring Hall. And my topic is social media, good or bad for society. Social media is very important and popular tool as it provides us many useful and user-friendly features. Social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram are giving people a chance to connect with each other at any time and anywhere in the world. People have embraced social media so deeply that it has become an integral part of their lives now. If we look at the positive aspect of social media, we can find a lot of advantages. The most important one is being a great tool of learning and educating we can find all kinds of information just in one place. Students can enhance their learning on various topics using social media platforms like YouTube and Facebook. Now, we can attend live lectures just because of these social media platforms. It is harmful as it invites our privacy. The sharing of personal information on social media can, all, can make children a target for hackers. Conclusion. The misuse of social media can also create a communal risk between people by sharing fake news on these platforms. Anxiety and depression is also a common disadvantage of social media. Social media is neither a good nor a bad by itself. It is totally depends on how we use it. We must maintain a balance between are productive and unproductive activities. Excess use of anything is harmful. And the same thing applies to social media too. Thank you.